Hello, beautiful family. How are you all doing? Thank you so dearly for always tuning in. I really appreciate. Today, the first time you are coming across us, uh, so you are hearing this voice for the first time. We still remain progress news and we give you all the latest updates. Remember, in this platform, we react to all videos and your opinion is highly needed. So sit back, watch this video, and I'll be right back. I'm really getting offended, peace, for the wrong reasons. People are really, really channeling their frustrations, their anger, their bitterness at the wrong channel. Why they know where to channel? They know the particular exact channel to direct their uh, complaint, their bitterness. And we have been talking about it at home. We have been talking about it at home. Most people who have been making saying uh, saying all sorts of things that uh, sit at home uh, uh, because of insecurity, this, that, you know, Simon Eba is a uh, Making life difficult for people in the south is there have been a lot of hunger, there have been a lot of you know, you're crippling the economy, you know. Sometimes when I look at these discussions, when I look at this complaint, I just I sh shoot my head in disappointment as are these people trying to you know play it, uh, feign ignorance towards the obvious. Are these people not seeing the handwriting on the wall? And I have seen many people, they say this man has to be stopped, this man has to be stopped, someone has to be stopped. That yeah, he has caused a lot of damage. Listen, my people. Simon, I don't think Simon is the problem in the service. No. You particularly that are against or that you particularly that are not trying to, you know, pay attention to the demand, pay attention to the mission statement. You feigning ignorance toward the obvious that you have decided never. To look at the action that led to the reaction. Instead, you are judging from the reaction. Instead of judging from the angle, from the action that led to the reaction. Every time Simon will come and say, so so time from so so time, the entire Biafran is going to be on lock and key. We are going to sit at home. Simon has never for once issued sit at home without a reason. From the one that he has been issuing this sit at home, there has been the reason the mission statement has never changed. It has been one. He has never deviated from the demands. Go back in time, check the history ever since the, the uh, abduction, kidnap, and extradition of our leader, where he's currently held despite the court judgment pronouncing him free. Ever since that day that they renditioned him back to Nigeria, that they sit at home. Even it was the, even the DOS who started it. Now, the DOS who started it, the demand was we are going to, then it was straight, un unstoppable sit at home. And what was the demand? Free Mazen Namdekano. Let him go. At some point, the people compromised. The people back down on something that they knew, that they were aware that, yeah, this thing, if utilized, if held on it, is going to yield a positive result. Somehow, they were infiltrated because their hands are not clean. They are complicit in the adoption, in the kidnap and, sorry, continuous unlawful detention of our leader. They gave up. Even one of them came up on live video and said that they were approached with certain amount of money to call off the seat at home. The people now you should ask yourself why would they why would some people and I'm, I'm saying this in respect to those that are saying that we are suffering the people from the side is this sit at home is making life difficult now and is not going to yield anything now let me ask you if if yeah preventure the sit at home has no positive effect has no outcome now ask yourself why would someone approach the people that have instituted it to pay so so amount to make sure that they stop it. If the thing was fruitless, why would they bargain for it? Why would they try to buy it over? That is to tell you that they know the importance, they know the you know, the radical effect, they know the positive outcome, the result that this is at home will yield. They back down. They actually collected the money. They back down. Now, this man said, Simon said, no. If this seat at home is to be cancelled, these people are not going to know how serious we are in calling for the unconditional release of Mazenam the Kano. He said, we are going to, the, the seat at home is going to continue until that demand 
What is the demand? What has always been the demand? Free Mazina and the camera. And every time he, he doesn't, he does not even come all of a sudden. Like, let me just say, he just come now and announce that from tomorrow there is going to be a total lockdown in the entire South East. He has never done so. He will always give you time. This man will always give you time. He said, We are giving you a time frame. Listen, we want this man out. We want our leader out. This man has never committed any offense. We want him out. Go and secure his ready. Failure to do so during this uh, uh, time frame, if so, so time, if the deadline approaches and you we are not able to meet up with the demand, the entire side is going to go on lockdown. Instead of you to look at the demand and say, okay, 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 fine. You have made a demand. You go on. You start your way. You say, please, please, please. You go to the, you complain to, you wait bitterly to the people that are holding this man. I said, no, 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 no. Look at what these guys, these guys are out to no good. These guys are trying to make like, you know that there have been a lot of hunger. There have been a lot of, you know, economic makedown in the side is this and this. And we are not ready. We are trying to recuperate. But this man wants to rock down the entire side. And these are the demands he is making. Please, we don't want this to happen. Please, can you please release this man? Instead of you to channel your anger to the right channel, you turn around and you are blaming the person that someone is not your problem. You are the problem. You are the problem. You are the problem because you have refused to listen. You have refused to adhere to the demand. Some of you are saying that, why can't we go to this Abuja, DSS, take our listen to the end? Listen to me. The reason why this is at home is being initiated in the entire side is, one, the people that are conspired and sold that man, they are from the southeast. They wanted to get him out of the way so that they can, you know, turn our land into a full honey playing ground. That the full honey can have their way, take us for granted. So since they saw that the people that they the people that sold this man out, we are from the southeast. We want to make them because they 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 were actually trying to, you know, for their own selfish gain have control over the service, right? And in as much as they are from the dark side is that they, was the reason why they gave her this one. When we hurt every activities in that service, we will tell them that you, for that reason that you saw this man, you are not going to have your way. We are going to make sure that, no, that thing that you are going for, you will not get it. Go and release the man. Simon is not your problem. Simon is not your problem. Okay? You are the problem because you have refused to do the needful. You have refused to channel your anger to the right channel. Why not solve this issue? Why not solve this issue? The demand has never changed. The demand has never changed. The mission statement has never changed. Every time they will institute it, they say, look, go to Abuja. Bring back the leader of 70 million people. We want him freed. That man does not deserve to be there. That man has never committed any offense that will warrant him to be detained for just an hour. Court has pronounced him free, discharged. Yet he's been held, and you want us to be quiet. We can't take to the street. If we take to the street, you're going to this, you are going to unleash the security on us. They will come after us, they will kill us. We are not ready to risk that. We are not going to do that because before we, we are on the street, we are on the street making demands. The zoo will come and shoot us. Now, the best way let us stay in our houses. Let us stay in our houses. Let us, we will not go out. You say we are impoverishing the service. We are not impoverishing the service. Do you even have an economy? Do you have an economy? What was the reason why that man 
they kidnap the man. Is it not to give you better? The, if you had an economy, if you had an economy, I don't think that that man will be there. If you had an economy to you know, boost, that man will not be in the DSS suffering. He will say, okay, you people, you have all you need. He will go about his normal life, his normal business. But because you don't have an economy, there is nothing, your identity has been denied. That is the reason why he is there, suffering. He wanted to give you a better life. He wanted to make sure that you live a life void of oppression. You have everything. Look, we have seaport in the Assad East. But you, as an Igbo man, you want to buy good. You, you buy good from Ireland. You have to travel all the way to Lagos. After spending millions of naira to bring it back to Nigeria, you have to travel all the way to Lagos. Why you have seaport? In your own region, you cry of economy. You cry that your children, our children, why would you stop our children from uh, our children's education? Which education do you think you have? The one that they denied you history, they banned history from being taught in your schools because they know that if you, if they allow that, if they allow you to research or if they allow you to be taught about the history, you will turn around and hate the school, you will not attend it. Because they are concealing their evil. You have no economy. You have nothing to boast about. If you had anything to boast about, that man would not be in the detention suffering. So why would you turn around and blame the wrong person instead of blaming the people that you are supposed to channel your anger? This man has been making this demand. Free man has in the can. Free man has in the can. If you want this sit at home to stop, You act as if you don't know the solution to this whole thing. Every okay, you have an illness. You know that this thing is disturbing you. This thing is making your life uncomfortable. And there is a, a solution to it. There is a prescription that, yeah, once you apply this, it will go. Instead of you to go for the right application, instead of you to go and apply the right uh, solution to you, you turn around and be blaming the pains. <laughs> Someone can be stopped this minute. He is not your problem. You are the problem because you have refused to do the needful. You have refused to do what that is required. That one only solution. You say, Simon is the reason for the insecurity in the side. Why? If, even you, you are where the main, the main culprit has owned up, being Asari Dokubo. Asari Dokubo has owned up that he is, his boys are, we are the ones that were causing the insecurity. Instead of you to talk, blame or call for the arrest of the guy that has opened up with, before everybody to say that, yeah, I am the cause of it. You turn around and blame another person. We want this sit at Nobody, see, listen to me. L let me tell you, nobody is happy for this sit at home. You say that he's suffering. But put yourself, put yourself for a bit. Put yourself in the position of that man. Just to sit at home for two days. You are complaining. You are weeping bitterly. But put yourself in the position of a man that has stayed in one cell for two years. Taken away from his life. His life is on hold. He's taken away from his family. He's denied the access to socialize. He can't do anything. Even if he gets sick, they deny him access to... Even There have been a lot of medical advice, medical, medical uh, reports, stating that this man should be allowed to undergo a proper medical attention. Still, they refuse to grant it. Now, put yourself in that shoe. If you were in that shoe, would you survive it? You are complaining of just two days or one week. But put yourself in the position of a man that has been in one place, sick. Removed from his family. Deny access to fair trial. So, you now know how, how painful it is to stay at home for one day. You know how you are being denied. You know how you are being denied for doing or from you know how you are being denied from socializing, you know, from going about your business. But put, think about a man that have done nothing wrong, a man that have 
Oh, because he wants the good. He wants some. He wants the. He wants you, you to live a better life. Because of you, he was kidnapped. He was renditioned, tortured, kept in one place for two years. Two years. Not two days, not two weeks, not two months. Two years, 24 good months. I'm counting. Do you see how painful it is? Do you see how agonizing it? Now, you can feel what that man, you can feel a bit of what that man has been going through. You can feel, you can have a taste of the kind of suffering, the kind of pains that that man has been in. You don't want to go through it. Then why not join? Why not call for his release? Look at everybody in the South East. Every time the politicians, like the governors, they will come and they will say, uh, we are working, we are working towards securing for how many months? They will use the man to chase cloud to remain relevant. They will promise you this, and at the end of the day, they will go back. Nothing is being done. Show me what if at least let others start. Okay, to say okay, these people they mean well. Since they have been promising us, promising us that yeah, they are doing something like Soludo. Every time Soludo will chase cloud with the head of a man, with the the, the the freedom of a man, come and make noise on the social media and go back. At least if they we are serious, it could have been started from this medical attention of a thing. If they have shown seriousness, come together, compel the federal government. Please allow this man access to free, uh, uh, this is, uh, quality medical attention. We would have known that they were serious. Yeah, they had the good interest of Mazin and Mikana at that. They want him out. But what has they done? Have, have you seen any? Every now and then we keep hearing our leader is in, in battling with himself, this, this, that. And you want us to keep quiet. You can actually stop it. You can actually stop the sin at all. You can actually stop it. Simon can actually be stopped. It is time for us to put a stop to Simon Nombales sit at home. How do we stop it? Let us look at the demand that he has been making. Have you freed him the camera today and the sit at home continues? Have you freed his name the camera out today and the sit at home? Why not give it a try? I say, "Be what I need, but when I when I talk, I'm not getting back. I'm not getting back. Why not? He have been pointing, crying, pointing at the same direction. Why not look at that direction? Why not say, 'Okay, this place that you have been pointing at, you have been disturbing our peace. What is in there? Let us look into that, in order for it to stop. But instead, you pretend as if you don't know what." The demands are you don't know what this man wants. Why not grant him? You want him to grant you your own request. You want him to grant you your own request to stop suffering you, but you have not been able to grant his own. You don't want to grant his own request, and you want him to grant your request. How foolish can you be? We can actually stop Simon. Let us come together and stop him. How do we stop him? Let us join hands together and compel the people that are holding Mazin and the can to release him. Let them release him. The court has pronounced him free. You and have declared him innocent. There is no law known to man that has found that man guilty. Let us see to it that the man is freed. If he's freed, sit at home, we stop. Sit at home, we stop. You don't want to suffer. Why the man is suffering? An innocent man is suffering. For doing absolutely not. Look at the people that we have promised you that they were doing something. There is nothing to show. Every day they keep one result, one report, one report, one report, yes, one, yes, report. Yes, yes, one yes, positive yes. outcome. There is nothing to show about it. And you want the no, 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 no. It's not going to stop. It's never going to stop. It will continue until the needful is done. 
He is not the one. The people that are caught the cause of the insecurity in this heart is are the people that don't want Mazina and the Kane to be out. Yeah, they are doing it to put it. Simon is not the who are the, the causes of it. Someone has owned up to it. Claim responsibility. I'm sorry, he went to ask a rock. He went to ask a rock and claimed responsibility. Even the people that are calling themselves the DOS, they issued a statement, they issued a press release that Asari is the cause of the insecurity in the Southeast, that the killings in Imo State are being done by Asari. But the report is there. But in the same way, the same people that say that, look at the person that is responsible, they turn around and be blaming another person. Someone actually have some angels under his control. But those guys can never be found outside our bushes. They are in our bushes. You know, resisting nomadic invasion, fighting on the full any herdsmen. That is where their jurisdiction. Anybody, any those things that you see, they are destroying of people's uh, 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 businesses. They are not. They are the people. They are the people that actually want to paint Simon to you know turn the heart of people against Simon. Why not let us do that? The thing that is needed. Why not let us grant that particular one demand? Grant that one request. The requests have never changed. They have never deviated from that demand. It has always been one, one, one. Free man in America. He will give you time. I'm giving you social time. Social time from now to social time. Go there and bring back this man. See that one will stop. Why not? Why not? Why not for once? With everybody, if we can actually, if Simon is actually, you know, if Simon was actually the problem, a killer, a terrorist, like the people who spent enough, spent thousands of dollars, traveled to Finland, to, told you that they were going to uh, notify the Finland about Biafra. But whereas their intent, they spent thousands of dollars, took the flight from Italy, from UK, from America, to Finland to submit a paper, a letter of petition against their own brother, attacking him a terrorist. The same man that is suffering, what is the child that they are charging him? They say he's a terrorist. You spent thousands of dollars to another country to submit a petition against your own brother. The same, the same thing that your husband is suffering from, that you fueled the people that went to Finland to submit a document against a petition against a man accusing him of being a terrorist. These are the people that some of you are looking up to. These are the people that never want to imagine and by their actions, you will spot them out from every of their step, from everything that they are doing. You will know that these are the people. Anybody that is against that woman is that, is that person is a, don't, actually don't want Mazin and Mikami to be released. I'm telling you, it's not debatable. Anybody that is against it at home in this harvest. That person is actually your problem, not the person that is today is at home. Because there is only one demand. This is what we want you to do. Free this man. Okay, let us... You people, even those of you that are accusing Simon, you know, inside of you, you know, the people that are behind the cause of insecurity in the Southeast, you want it to stop, release this man. This is the time for us to stop Simon. Let us stop him. He has given he has given his demand. He has given a deadline that from now to the thirtieth of this month, Mazin and the Kano should be there. Deadline is thirty first. Once thirty first, you did not release him. The entire side is going to go on lockdown. The only thing you can do is to come on social media and Simon is not killing anybody. Those people that are still against it, they are the ones that are fueling the insecurity, the destruction, the you know everything. Oh, the insecurities in the day and the one Simon is not the cause of it. Simon is not your problem. You are your own problem. Hunger is in the land. Talk, okay, hunger is in the land. The man that have been denied st st 
starved. We, there was the other time we are told that for 14 days, for, for, he was denied food. Everything that is needed to make life easy for him, they denied him. Even when they are keeping him, the court said, Free this man, they detained him. Okay, the same man you are detaining, oh yeah, treat him at least. Let it be that, okay, fine, give him a fair treatment. At, at the, you know, grant him some of his fundamental rights. You denied him. And you want to pretend as if you don't know how painful it is. My brother, let us stop Simon. Simon has done enough. Let us stop him. How do we stop him? Let us join hands and bring Mazin and Dekano out. If Mazin and Dekano should be released this moment, sit at home, we stop. And anybody that comes instituting sit at home, that person is the court. We will now know that, yeah, this person is. Now, let me just give you, let me just tell you this. Sit at home for two purposes. Who has one particular demand that is the most important? We have two reasons. We have two demands. But one is what if you can be able to solve that one demand, you have solved 70% of the second demand. Because number one, sit at home is just a self-conducted plebiscite referendum. To show our readiness that we are tired of being caught in Nigeria, why there is nothing to show for it. We want. Ah. Yeah, yeah. We want to be separated through a peaceful referendum. Sitting at home is, to, you know, register our readiness to leave. But the main demand is Mazinam Dekan. If you free Mazinam Dekan, even if, if let's just say, Sitatom is being instituted every month, Sitatom might be once in six, three months or two months, at least, to let the people still know that we are tired of being called in Nigeria. We are Biafras. Stop blaming the wrong person. You know the people to blame. I didn't mean that without Simon, everything about Mazin and Dekan would have been totally forgotten. They would be still be hoodwinking you with the, uh, the promise of uh, we, uh, underground work, underground work, underground work. There is nothing to show for underground work. That man is the reason why, that citadel is the reason why people actually know that, yeah, there is a man that is being held unjustly. That is, people are now looking at, yeah, because of this citadel is the reason why people know that this man needs freedom. Why not grant that request? Simon needs to be stopped. How can we stop him? Nandekano. Simon is just a man looking out for his own brother, his own leader. He doesn't want the man to be suffering. Simon is not the one inflicting pain on anybody. You are the one inflicting pain on him. He is uncomfortable with seeing his brother being detained unlawfully without... Throw back here. He is not happy. Look at the terrorists. They are being rewarded every day. Look at Abakiari. A few days ago, Abakiari was released. The man that have killed many of our youth in the southeast. The man is now working free. Why? The only man that say that no, this thing going on in the side is these people killing our people, it needs to be stopped. That man is still suffering, and it doesn't concern you, it doesn't bother you that a criminal is being this is just a case of you know, release the thief and crucify Jesus. How would you feel that a man that have done nothing, that have never been caught with arms? Simply, he's using simple radio Biafra. Drawing the attention, sorry, drawing the attention of the world, drawing the attention of the people to 
the pride of the Biafras that they need to be given a chance for self-determination. That Nigeria has done enough. Nigeria has killed on enough. Nigeria has intimidated off enough. This is time for us to renegotiate our citizenship. They kidnapped him. But why the thief that have killed? This is not a fiction. This is not a made-up story. Everybody, we are all aware of the sins and the atrocities Abakiari committed in the Southeast. Today he's walking free. He's a free man. Why an innocent man is in DSS suffering? This is what Simon Ima is paying, so concerned about. That no, I don't want my brother. If you are comfortable with my with Nandekano suffering, I am not comfortable with it. For that reason, I want every of our team, every activities in the service to be halted until this man is freed. That is his only concern. If you don't feel for that man, Simon and other autopilot, the people who are in full support of the city, we feel for what our leader, what our brother have been going through. You claim that the city will not achieve it. It, achieve it will. The fact that people are talking and lamenting about it means that it has an effect. If we can utilize on it, if we can utilize this this thing, which I I'm sure that, yeah, by the time we do this often, the people that are holding that man will be forced to release him. Don't, I look at some people like this, I just I say, wow. People can be so impressed. I know that if some of us were to be in the position of that man, as in American, you would have given up because the, the, the ungratefulness of many of us. We are not worth fighting for. We are not worth fighting for. If you need your freedom, go and fight for it. For in the single handedly fight for your liberate yourself. That a man gave up his family, his career, everything about for your own sake. Instead of you to show appreciation, you are now called, you okay. I, I, the one thing that baffles me most is some of these people are now claim that Simon, if I hate Mazin and they can have you ever loved Mazin? What is what has Simon done that our leader did not do? Everything that Simon is doing today was the same thing our leader did, which many of you hated him. I remember when the answers happened. Everybody was blaming Namdekan. All of a sudden, because the man had been, you know, kidnapped. All of a sudden, you are not forming fake love. That Simon is not is, is not like Nam the Kano. That Nam the Kano this. When our leader was, in fact, the real truth is this: you are the enemy that we are supposed to stop, and we are going to stop you. We are going to stop you. Nobody hates you. You hate yourself. Excuse me, boss. You have a text message. Let us come together and stop Simon. How do we stop him? Mazenam de Kano. With Mazenam de Kano out, Simon will be stopped from instituting sit at home. You have been given time. Talk to the people that you were supposed to blame. The Ohanes and Dibu, the South East governors. Let them do the needful. They can't be going about their normal businesses every day, sleeping in the, at the comfort of their home, being paid with taxpayers' money, enjoying the comfort while their own brother is suffering. <laughs> what crime has he committed? What crime has he committed that warrants him to be, to be held for even 24 hours? But the man has spent 24 months in the DSS custody. Court has pronounced him free. And you don't want to. You say you, you want through the uh, the people. They want him released through due process. Which due process? The same due process that pronounced him free. That the people holding him that are not ready to free him. We need to force the people hand. We need to force their hand. This is the time for us. Stop blaming the wrong kind, the wrong person. Blame the people that you're supposed to blame. The people that have been keeping quiet, pretend, pretending as if it doesn't concern them. The day Mazin and the Kano will be released, sit at home, we stop. 
But until then, Simon is unstoppable. I thank God for that man. Because without him, our leader, who knows? By now, they would have silently eliminated him and be given a false report that this man is in there, uh, you know, this, this man, or they'd be given all kind of fake reports, putting out to, to make. Simon is the reason why they are not able, because when they remember that, that this man, this man, this man, if should anything happen to this man, these people are going to make, they are not going to find it funny. The fact that you have their friend to discuss today is because of Simon. Please, let us stop blaming the wrong person. Let us channel the anger. Our anger. If all of us should come together today and say, okay, we actually want to sit at home to stop and look at the right solution. Now the country should be freed. Even say, let me just tell you, even Simon cannot stop sit at home. Even if what he's seeing, he do, he, he's not even the one that is doing it. Because any day, the day, any day he decides to stop at sit at home, another person, another person will take over the spirit because this thing has come to stay until that demand. You cannot be through, you know the illness, you know that this thing is you are applying the wrong medication and you expect it to stop. It's not going to stop. It's not going to stop. Do that thing that is apply the right treatment. You want it to be cured. Sit at home, I've been causing a lot of damage. You want it to stop. Do you want it to stop? Bring Mazin and the can out, and everything will stop. Until that is done, you are just wasting your time. You are just wasting your time. Sometimes I feel for my, I feel for my husband. It's not easy. It is not easy. It is not easy. It is not easy. It is not easy. Thank you all for listening. But remember what I said. Let us come together and stop Simon. And how do we stop Simon? Let us join hands in compelling the South East governors, the Ohanes and Dibu, to go to Abuja and release Mazendam the Kanu. Once Mazendam the Kanu is released, Simon will not institute any sit at home again. But until then, you are wasting your time. We will continue to sit at home until Onyendu is released. We will continue to sit at home until our leader is freed. Free him and we will stop it. Unless, unless, unless our leader is freed. You, if you like, employ the whole security. You know, one thing I have, one thing about the people that are still destroying people, because they are making the sit at home, even though that yeah, autopilot Simon Eva has nothing to do with it. But those that are destroying, they are actually compelling you to sit at home. If you know you don't want to put yourself in there, because they are the ones crying, they are the ones leaning with they want to blackmail Simon. They are helping you also to stay, stay at home. If you're tired, if you don't want to stay at home, right, do the best thing. Let us compare these people to release Mazenam the can. Once Mazenam the can is released, sit at home to be stopped. But until that is done, until you do that, you can never stop Simon. You're wasting your time. Thank you all. God bless you for listening. So, my wonderful family, that brings us to the end of this update. Do what to like the video, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and bye bye.